So does anyone remember how proponents of Florida's Don't Say Gay bill, back when it was still being discussed, claimed that this wasn't about anti-LGBTQ plus hate? They simply didn't want gender and sexual ideology being taught to children. Now, people like me pushed back at the time and explained how you're creating a solution to a problem that doesn't exist because sex and gender ideology is not being taught to children in elementary schools. So this is nothing more, this was nothing more than a thinly veiled ploy to hide away gay people. If you can basically pretend as if gay people don't exist and protect your child from learning about the existence of queer people, then perhaps they'll not be gay or trans themselves because it definitely works that way. Now, what do these homophobes and transphobes say? How dare you claim that we would be so bigoted and be that intolerant? Of course, we think that gay people should be able to be their authentic selves. We don't want to push them back into the closet. Again, this is just about us making decisions as parents as to what we want our children to learn about. I think a lot of people are saying, no, I just don't want you grooming my kids for whatever your ideology is. Mm, except... Now they're basically just admitting what we told you they wanted to do all along. This is about erasing gay people out of existence. They don't want gay people to be visible at all. And they're admitting this. For example, one proponent of the Don't Say Gay bill, Ben Shapiro, well, this is what outraged him over the weekend. He tweeted out, Disney works to push a not at all secret agenda and seeks to add queerness to its programming, according to executive producer Latoya Ravenu. Parents should keep that in mind before deciding whether to take their kids to see Lightyear, which hits theaters this week. He adds, children are not adults. What may be appropriate for adults is not appropriate for children. That this must be said demonstrates that our society is in a state of more collapse. Interesting. Now notice in that photograph that he shared from the movie Lightyear, it features a photograph of lesbians, lesbian parents smiling at each other. Ben Shapiro is claiming that that is not appropriate for children. And yet they are tolerant and they don't want to erase gay people from existence? I mean, does Ben Shapiro think that those two lesbians are going to start fucking each other in that same scene? What exactly is inappropriate about that? It is a presumably loving family just existing. But to him, that's outrageous. This has always been about erasing gay people out of existence. They don't want them to be visible. They don't want it to be known that gay people, that trans people exist because queer people do not fit into their idealized view of society. Now, in his Twitter photo, he's promoting the anti-trans propaganda documentary by one of his colleagues, Matt Walsh, who admitted that gender-affirming care should be illegal even for adults. Now, remember that at first, when it came to laws in Texas, they were banning gender-affirming care for children and investigating parents who sought out gender-affirming care for children because children just aren't old enough to make these decisions for themselves. So even if they have loving parents who actually seek out the advice of medical professionals, that's not acceptable. We cannot indoctrinate children. So we started there, and now we've arrived at, mm, actually, adults shouldn't be able to seek out gender-affirming care as well. But yet we're supposed to believe that they're tolerant. This is just about children. It starts in one way, and then the initial thing that they're pushing is simply a Trojan horse to do what they've always wanted to do, and that is eradicate queer people from existence. Now, over the weekend, 31 white supremacists were arrested in Idaho after they planned on rioting at a Pride event. Now, the subsequent conversation following this news was to deny. For example, Jimmy Dore posted a video not so subtly conspiracy mongering about this thwarted white supremacist riot, citing a Joe Rogan video as evidence that a lot of white supremacist groups look like feds. It would have been mostly just disruption and trying to cause fear. You mean like this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, police found at least one smoke grenade. A smoke grenade. At least one. They call it a grenade. You mean well, they also had a bunch of riot T-shirts on, so you have to think about that. That's a threat as well. And so they actually made 
arrests. So they said this is what they say. They say this guy among those arrested Saturday was Patriot Front leader and definitely not an infiltrator or co-opted by the FBI. Thomas Ryan Rousseau. It's all, it's all fishy to me. Here's the last time they did it. Remember the last time bystanders booed as the far right Patriot Front stage a rally in Washington, D.C. to reclaim America. There they are. They're all dressed like in uniforms. They're all dressing in a lot. They're all they have the big flags with them. They have their faces covered. Those guys don't they look like they have a purpose. That's not what I would think of a an out of a guy with no purpose would be a fat slob with a ripped, dirty T-shirt on wearing sweatpants. That's what a guy with no purpose looks like. These MFers got purpose, baby. And I bet they I bet they even have a pension plan. <laughs> <laughs> Last time that happened, here's what Joe Rogan and Matt Taibbi said about it. Matt Taibbi, who said he was going to call me, never called me. You you tell me the FBI is not monitoring fringe groups and they're, they they were not aware these people were this fucking organized out of nowhere they pop out with the same size flags and the same outfit on, goose stepping. They're walking, not goose stepping, but you know, walking right. in, in this at the same pace in the, in a, a fucking orderly line. Like who's who organized this? This is them on their bus. I was trying to. I thought this was going to turn to the video of them walking. See the video of them walking. Is that the video well, of them it's walking? Like they're linking uh, to blog posts. So it's not gonna God, there's got to be a video of them walking. I know. I've watched it. So here's it. Uninformed. Uniformed white nationalist group marches on Lincoln Memorial. CNN's all in. They're like, we're all in on this. Come on, show us. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Where's the fat people? <laughs> How come they're all wearing the same clothes? Do that again. What the fuck is this? Is that? Have you ever seen anything that looks more like feds? Tell me that doesn't look like feds. Right? It's like the 101st Airborne. Bro, look at this. These guys are all runners. These guys look like they just got out of buds. What we're seeing now is this massive gaslighting campaign by homophobes and transphobes. They foment hatred against queer people. And then when people take action, they either claim it was justified or in the case of Jimmy Dore and Joe Rogan, deny that it happened altogether. This is not real. These are feds. Queer people are under no danger after we've been instigating hatred against them. I mean, even Ron DeSantis, who repopularized homophobia, pledged to not tolerate anti-LGBTQ hatred after starting a nationwide legislative movement to force queer people back into the closet. And now states across the country are copying that don't say gay legislation. And by the way, Ron DeSantis copied his don't say gay law from Viktor Orban, the dictator of Hungary, who got very popular and consolidated power by fomenting hatred against LGBTQ plus people. So every single time they try to push anti-LGBTQ plus uh, legislation or a policy of some sorts, they'll always try to cloak it in a legitimate concern. They'll claim this isn't actually about hate. This is about protecting children. This is about uh, parents having the choice to choose what our children learn. But that was never what this has been about. This has always been about erasing gay people from existence. They refuse to tolerate the existence of gay people. Hence why Ben Shapiro is outraged at a fucking cartoon that features lesbian moms. And the way that they get people to think that queer people are a threat is by playing the victims themselves. In fact, this is what Ben Shapiro said about how uh, queers are taking over society and culture. If you're somebody who believes, for example, that natural law suggests that there are better and worse ways on a human level of conducting, for example, your sex life. If you're a, you a person of traditional mores, mores, who believes that sex should be defined within marriage between a man and a woman, because sex is not merely about the physical pleasure that you get from sex. It is also about progeneration and creating a new generation of people and it's about the fulfillment that male and female find in one another when they leave their parents' home and they create a family for themselves. If you believe any of that stuff, then the number of institutions upon which you can rely has been shrinking dramatically. And not only has it been shrinking dramatically, it's been shrinking in almost forceful fashion from the cultural arbiters. If you believe any of this stuff, the idea is that you must be censored. And if you believe even the basic propositions that undergird this stuff, like there are natural differences between men and women, those distinctions are the basis for all mammalian reproduction forever. If you believe that sort of stuff, then you are considered a bigot. Yeah, you are. You are. You are a bigot. Just own it. That's who you are. If you don't want to be called a bigot, then stop being a fucking bigot, you bigot. So this is essentially the straight equivalent of white replacement theory. In order to 
justify the erasure of a marginalized community, you have to paint yourself as the victim. They want to censor us. We can't even use our religion as a justification to discriminate against LGBTQ plus people. I mean, this has been the playbook forever. Now let's go back to that photograph that Ben Shapiro was outraged about. He's not simply expressing the belief that marriage should be restricted to opposite sex couples. He is communicating to everyone that simply acknowledging gay people exist is an affront to his belief system. It's a basic lack of tolerance. This isn't a matter of agreeing to disagree. This is Ben Shapiro and homophobes and transphobes saying, I not only disagree, but I am going to fight, use my cultural hegemony to make sure that you are erased from society, that you are banned from transitioning, banned from marrying the person that you love. And currently, they can't do much to stop us from getting married. But in a couple of years, when the Supreme Court decides to revisit Obergfell v. Hodges, well, then they will ultimately win. This is kind of what they're doing. They're paving the way to society once again accepting that queer people, all queer people, should be denied equal rights. So when they try to tell you that hate against gay people isn't actually happening or that their hatred that they foment all the time is, you know, really just about a concern for children or when they tell you that they're allies and they're tolerant, it's just that you're not tolerant of their bigotry, understand what they're doing and what their project has always been about. This is about erasing queer people from existence. And if you don't pay attention to it, if you accept their gaslighting, then you're complicit and you allow it to happen. So acknowledge what this has always been about. And whenever they come up with some sort of a bogus fucking excuse about, oh my God, think of the children, that's never been what this is about. They couldn't care less about children. They'll find a way to take this old argument and repackage it and make it more persuasive to normies. But you can't let them win and you have to acknowledge what this is about. They don't want gay people to exist. They don't want trans people to exist. And if they can erase queer people from society, then that is indeed what they want to do. We have evidence of that because they're trying it currently. First, they push us back into the closet. Then they start taking away our legal rights and what we've accomplished so far. Then they start banning trans people from expressing themselves through gender. They want to erase queer people. Wake up and acknowledge that this is what's happening and fight back. Wet, 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 wet,